Hello everyone. Welcome back. Welcome to the show. I'm going to make some uh, homemade lanyap gelato. And we're going to make uh, chocolate and peanut butters and Reese's Pieces kind of. So this requires no egg. It doesn't require a uh, uh, gelato ice cream making machine. Just basically your uh, ingredients. So um, let's uh, get our blender ready. So a good size blender. This one holds 2.1 liters. We're not probably going to use that much. but So uh, ingredients, what we need is... Uh, We need one cup of almond milk. This is kind of vegan, so less for the chocolate. So you just want one cup of almond milk. I got unsweet vanilla. <clears throat> and then you want two cups of coconut milk. And I love coconut milk. So we just want to do two cups. That's as basically as much as the can is, so just go ahead and fill it up. Go ahead. Um, and we have chocolate morsels, so I'm gonna microwave these to loose this to soften them up for about a minute. And then we need about a half cup of brown sugar just about two or three tablespoons of brown sugar you could use um, you could use regular sugar if you want to but I think brown sugar is, is healthier for you So, we got that, uh, we want two tablespoons of <clears throat> cornstarch, this will make it a little fluffier and thicker. in there. You could also do cocoa powder, but I like eating these plain because chocolate is really healthy for you, so I try to eat that on a on a weekly basis. And then do your peanut butter. We can go with probably three tablespoons, just big chunks of peanut butter. And I probably put about a cup of uh, probably two a cup and a cup and a half of chocolate morsels in there. So, that's what it's looking like. Um, and that's all you gotta do. You don't need you don't need any egg in this in this uh, recipe, but you could if you want to. So we're just gonna put it on.
about a minute. And then you want to take uh, some Tupperware, basic Tupperware, and um, go ahead and pour it in there. And all you got to do is put it in the freezer for about three or four hours, let it freeze, and then you can serve it. And you got your own homemade gelato. Oh my god. Coconut and Reese's Pieces. This is going to be good. So I will see you in about four hours. And... It's going to be good. All right, peace. It has been three hours, 45 minutes. And our gelato is looking good. So gelato isn't as cold as ice cream. So it's going to be less chilled. But basically, let's just take some scoops. And this is good. When I tasted it earlier, when I was making it, that coconut really stands out. So we'll see how this tastes like Reese's Pieces. Let's take a bite. Let's do it. Man, this is good. Definitely got the Reese's Pieces. Mm. Smooth. Mm. I think it came out good. Yeah, I'm going to be eating this every night. But check out uh, Bologna Cookbook, Beyond Amazing, the Beyond Amazing Cookbook. I got all the gelato recipes in there. All these different ones. I got a lot of good ones. Mmm. Mmm. Definitely, y'all. You want some good ice cream, some good gelato? Check out the Beyond Amazing. Thanks for watching, y'all. Appreciate it. <laughs>